The owner of Unique Children's Center tells me with these rising RSV cases, she's had to increase sanitation methods and have everyone wear these masks in order to continue to keep staff and children safe. We are constantly washing the hands. Soap and water, soap and water, and as you can see, bottle, we have huge bottles of uh, hand sanitizer. Marie Haywood has been the owner and director of Unique Children's Center in Flint Township for the past five years. Haywood tells me she is licensed to have 43 children in the center, but with RSV and other codes going around, those numbers have been cut in half. I have lately, because of all that's going on with RSV, hands and mouth disease, the flus, and colds, common cold. Um, I'm down to about 20 or so children. Haywood says she has already had two families who come to the center be impacted by RSV and knows firsthand how it impacts a child. I have children here that are very asthmatic. So them, the one particular child having been diagnosed with RSV, it was horrible for him because it affected his breathing. Dr. Allison Kidwell, a general pediatrician at Memorial Healthcare Hospital, says anyone can get RSV, but it can present major illness in children than in adults. RSV typically presents in older people with cough and congestion, but in little kids, RSV causes really a lot of nasal discharge, a lot of coughing, um, but it's almost nonstop um, mucus um, that can cause really difficulty with the airway and with breathing. We do see that we're going into another spike um, and um, we don't know really how high that spike will be. We anticipate that that spike will be worse than last year's um, RSV season. Haywood urges parents to keep their children home if they are sick and encourages parents to take their kids to the doctor and not overlook a common cold because it could be more than that. Many of these cases involve younger children or babies, but pediatric professionals say they're starting to see it in younger, older children as well. Hospitals here in mid-Michigan tell me at least 90% of their current patients are affected with the virus. Now they're warning parents what not to do and what signs to look out for. It's a normal trend to see a lot of kids come through the winter months with respiratory viruses. Um, this year, it seemed to hit a little bit earlier. I would say as far as RSV goes, and um, we generally, we are across the state feeling a burden from it. Nicole Sinclair is a pediatric intensive care doctor for Covenant Healthcare. She tells me the state of Michigan has nine ICU facilities and they're working around the clock to care for patients. In Saginaw, Sinclair says Covenant Healthcare has 10 ICU beds and about 90% of them are filled with RSV patients. I expect it's still on the uprise. Um, typically we see RSV from November until April. Um, so we're kind of just at the beginning of the season. And so I expect that it's going to go higher than what it is right now. Across the state, the University of Michigan CS Mont Children's Hospital are experiencing similar issues. Their team says the hospital has seen 259 cases of RSV this season, which is a 46% increase from last year. Western Michigan is also seeing higher than normal cases, many of them needing intensive care. A lot of them are requiring um, a special mode of oxygen, which we call high flow nasal cannula. Um, and so just a little bit more oxygen than what we could put on um, kids to put them on the general pediatric floor. So as far as the ICU goes, we have a lot of kids on the special flow of oxygen. Um, that what we have seen in, in prior years. RSV can affect anyone, including adults, but most severe cases are found in children and babies. What are some signs and symptoms of RSV? So cough, congestion, um, fever are kind of the top three that we're seeing. Um, symptoms, they tend to peak around day five of illness. So you'll see the baby or a small child getting cough and congestion. And then around day five, they may have um, symptoms of respiratory distress where their belly breathing or you see their chest wall um, retracting in and out. And that's something that you want to bring to the hospital. Michigan health leaders say we are entering crisis mode as 90% of Michigan pediatric hospital beds are occupied with cases of respiratory syncytial virus or RSV and influenza. McLaren healthcare officials say children under the age of two are the most vulnerable to RSV. The closest pediatric hospital to northern Michigan is in Grand Rapids.
for parents, it is very scary. Um, know that uh, your local ERs can manage a majority of these kids do not need hospitalization. They need their evaluation. Uh, they need fever control and hydration and rest, um, symptomatic relief. Of the kids that need hospitalization, hospitalization, your local ERs have the oxygen that's, that is truly what they need the most. Dr. Gardner says you can help stop the spread by practicing good hygiene, emphasizing that you should wash your hands multiple times a day for at least 20 seconds.